this is Gaurav Chodnekar and today in this video tutorial I will show you how to create new project in Visual Studio okay so for that start up your Visual Studio after starting your Visual Studio you have two options to create your new project if your start page is been visible then you can simply click on the new project option available here and a dialog box will appear secondly you can click on file new and choose for a project website team project or file so let us start up with project the same dialog box appears again and so now as for my installation I can use the languages like C sharp visual basic visual f sharp visual c plus plus then i can create sql server python javascript typescript game build accelerator and other project types okay now let us see one by one inside visual c sharp i can create a project for windows web android cloud extensibility ios light switch office sharepoint silverlight test wcf and workflow so inside windows 2 i can create universal windows apps windows 8 apps and classic desktop apps so now getting through visual basic it too has the same one but it lacks some things like the android and ios which are there in c sharp but still you can create universal windows apps windows 8 apps classic desktop apps web cloud extensibility and so on in visual basic to visual f sharp okay i have not installed visual f sharp tools so it is telling me to install here and then visual c plus plus sql server database project python okay i have not installed it too and there are other project types which you can install externally and these are the templates available with me which are installed and you can also opt for some online templates if you have an active internet connection these templates will start loading here in about two to three minutes so now let us go for some installed templates of visual basic windows okay so within windows okay within visual basic we have Windows Form application, WF application, console app, ASP.NET web application, shared project class library, and so on. So let us start something like classic desktop app. So you can choose any one of them as per your requirement. So Windows Form application we will start with. Then you can give a name here. So let us start with hello user so it will be stored in the location c users gaurav zodmaker slash documents slash visual studio 2015 slash projects so basically this is the path for my storage you can have your storage within the libraries documents and visual studio 2015 slash projects or whichever version you prefer so here is the solution name hello user it is most of the time same you can also change it but give it same and then click on ok wait for a few moments for it to create the project of your name and choice so after creating a project most probably it will create a blank screen either of code or just visual so we have preferred visual studio and windows form application so a small size default form will be shown and on that form you can create a application you can keep various components to from the toolbox and all so basically now you have successfully created your application hello user this is the form now let us go to toolbox take a label drag and drop it change okay. 
and so here it is this is how your application will look like when we start executing it now to execute it just click on the start button here and you see you can see here the build that started project hello user configuration is debug on any cpu okay then the hello user exe has been executed and here we go see this is your application which is just now we have created there so it is our first form and we named it as hello world with a label in it you can expand it the position remains the same better keep it small so after creating and you a project you can just execute it you can see your diagnostic tools that shows process memory cpu usage with respect to the time so i am being required approximately 18 mb of memory and some five percent of cpu rarely so that's it for now you can even create various things using this VB. it is highly flexible and you can continue watching my videos for further references with the how to use a toolbox database connectivity in visual basic and many much other videos so for now goodbye i hope this video helps you in every manner take care thank you